Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Holly. Today I wanted to do a quick book chat with you. I have actually been reading several books, I usually am, um, but this is a particular book that is in the Bible from the book of Ephesians, which is a really short book, it's just six chapters, but it's very enlightening and eye-opening in so many areas of our lives, and so I wanted to chat a little bit with you about it since I've been studying it lately. Oftentimes we're overwhelmed with life, the busyness of life, and just our list of everything that has to be done. You know, whether it's um, at home, you're at home with your family, whether you, you go to work and then you um, have the obligations and pressures of work or volunteer in your community, you know, just managing life itself can prove to be stressful and very overwhelming. And, you know, you can put together your list and have your agenda for the day and just get ready to go through it and, and get started on everything and start checking things off your list or however you choose to achieve uh, and accomplish those different tasks that need to get done day by day and week by week. Um, I am a, a list maker, so I love to make lists and then check off lists and I try to do the thing I don't wanna do first um, and I really like controlling that and you know, just reading through this book, you know, my eyes have been open to just kind of taking a step back from my agenda, from my list and everything that I want to do and that I plan to do uh, and get done and really step aside and listen to God and what his plans are for me and what he wants me to accomplish in that day. And I realize that when I do that, that I have a more productive day. I may not get everything done on my list that I you know, started out to do um, because it changed, because maybe I wasn't supposed to do everything on that list. Maybe I was supposed to do only three things out of seven things on that list, um, but I was able to do them uh, very well and finish those things and have joy in my day versus a stressful day and trying to do my own agenda and try to tackle seven things or more that needed to get done. So, you know, the book of Ephesians talks about how we're predestined and um, that, you know, Christ made us for his own pleasure and that, you know, he favors us as well. If identity in him, that the Holy Spirit lives in us and that, you know, knowing that it brings me peace. And I would hope that, you know, if you can wrap your mind around the fact that, you know, you are predestined, that everything has already been laid out for you, that there's been a plan already in place for your life since before you were even created, that even down to the day-to-day, -day, the hour-by-hour -hour things that need to get done, um, you know, we can be led on what we're supposed to do because the Holy Spirit lives within us. And that was a gift that was given to us by Christ Jesus. And so we can stop and in the middle of a hustle and bustle of the day, or maybe we did get up and start our own agenda, but we can pause at any moment and stop to reflect and hear to see what is in our gut, you know, what is really speaking to us, like where we feel peace about what we should be doing that day and to step and move forward in those directions. You know, even if uh, you didn't start your day off like that, you can always reset your agenda and start fresh and anew every day. And so I just want to encourage you guys that, you know, don't allow the cares of the world to bog you down. Um, listen to, you know, what's in your gut. Listen to your inner man, to your spirit on how your day should go and let that order you every day so that you can experience joy every day and not have the stresses that life can bring up on you. I hope this video was an encouragement to you guys out there today that as you're going about and uh, doing the things that you do, um, that you do stop and take a moment to reflect and make sure you're doing the things that you're called to do and that you're supposed to do for that day, for this time um, and this moment. And you know, continue to be kind to one another and know that you are created for God's great pleasure and go and do great works. That's what he's called us to do. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you were able to walk away and be encouraged and uplifted for your day. And I'll look forward to talking to you guys next time. So let me know if you like this type of video where I'm doing book chats. 
I am oftentimes reading books or listening to books, and a lot of times they're around self-development or business. So I would love to share more little chats with you guys about what I'm reading and what I'm learning. So give me a thumbs up if you are interested in me doing more of these types of videos in the future. Thanks for watching.